So when we originally found our first Airbnb, it was to celebrate my birthday. It was our first trip together. It was a rustic cabin. Renee did not think I would ever stay there. And we've been going back there now for two years. I'm Renee Placencia. I'm a member of the Florida House. I'm Renee Guzman. I'm the executive director of a nonprofit. I'm Addie. I don't want to be in the middle of everything that's happening in downtown Tallahassee because I'm a part of that all day. It's nice to have a place where I can get away and not feel like I'm still working all day. During committee weeks, the cost of the Airbnb is at times half of what the cost would be here in Tallahassee for a hotel. You want to save money where you can. Whenever I travel, it's a big difference and that adds up and that could be the power bill of the nonprofit. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Airbnb to other travelers for either, it's really for, for fun. We've been able to develop a relationship over time with the homeowners. They're friends of ours now. We first met about two years ago. We became closer and closer. We enjoy each other's company. I love their little daughter, Addie. She's just adorable. And she reminds you of your Nana. I feel like they're my best friends. They invite us over for dinner. They were at our wedding. I think they were one of the first RSVPs. For us, it meant a lot, because that kind of makes you feel like, OK, you know. It's not superficial, it's not a business transaction, it's actually a friendship. We were just really happy to be there. And I think that'd be a big difference between a traditional hotel and an Airbnb. Yeah, you're not listed. inviting the manager. No. <laughs> well, that's the bonus. It's just not all about the money. And it's been a really genuine experience. Friends for life.